What star is this with beams so bright? More beauteous than the noonday light. It shines to herald forth the king, and Gentiles to his crib to bring. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, January the 11th. It's the Saturday after Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 98 and 99, and John chapter 14, verse 6 through 14. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, O oh, sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. Alleluia, Psalms 98 and 99. Alleluia, O oh, sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. God's right hand and God's holy arm have gained the victory. God most high has given salvation. God's righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the heathen. And God has shown mercy and truth toward the family of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to God Most High, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing to God with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song, with trumpet and the sound of cornet. Make a joyful noise before God Most High, our ruler. Let the sea and all that is in it roar, the world and all that live there. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills be joyful. Before God Most High, before our God, he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness shall God judge the world and the peoples with equity. Alleluia, our God reigns. Let the people tremble. You sit between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name for it is holy. O mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God most high and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests and Samuel among them. They that called upon God's name they called upon God Most High, and God answered them. God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar, and they kept God's testimonies and the ordinances that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved God, you forgave them, though you took vengeance of their evil deeds. Exalt God Most High and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Chapter 14, beginning at verse 6. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. And Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. And Jesus said to Philip, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say, that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, 
and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the mission of the church and for the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, O merciful God. We exalt you and with our tongues and worship you with our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.